Hello everyone, welcome to another how-to video with Excel. In this video, we're going to learn about a new feature in Excel called Data Validation. This feature helps you to control an information entry in a cell. A typical example to apply this feature is, let's assume you, are, you run a school and for each weekday, a boarding house at that. So for each weekday, the students are mandated to take a fruit. Now you want to know the quantity you want to buy and the fruit type the student would want. So now you create the spreadsheet and ask them to choose for Monday, their choice for Tuesday, their fruit choice. we're going to configure that today in Excel. First thing to note is when configuring data validation is that it must, it would always be configured in a table. Now you might just want to highlight the option and go to the data tab. Once you click on this, you come under the data tools and you click on data validation. So the initial option is asking us for the validation criteria. The initial option is to allow any data, be it a text, a number. So you might want to configure this. Either you customize, you have a list or a whole number or any value you want. But we want to go with a list. Now to go with a list, under the source is either you have two things. You see that you already have somewhere you've typed it in Excel, you reference that source. But if you don't have, you can type your choice here. So the first I want to do is I want to type bananas. You see pretty with a comma. The next is I want watermelon. And lastly, I want pineapple. Once I have those options here, I'm going to click OK and I'll see how that goes. So first thing you're going to notice is that you're going to have a list option here to choose. And it's going to be the same for each of the cells that you are going to. This is just the beginner stage in data validation. There are several other ways to this, but I hope this helps. And in subsequent videos, I'm going to walk you through the other features.